What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel, Arizona Lifestyle. Today I'm coming at you from Mesa Riverview Park. Kind of just wanted to do a kind of a walk around for y'all so y'all can see one of our favorite parks to hang out um, out here in the valley. I want to say Mesa does a really good job with their whole parks and recreation division or whatever you want to call it. They're always building new parks out here in Mesa. Um, this is, like I said, one of our favorites. There's also another park called Pioneer Park, which I'll do another video for you guys about that. And Pioneer Park is also a, a really cool park for kids. It's almost like a kid's dream. But this one we personally like because of the attractions it has. It's got a uh, splash pad right here. Perfect for in the summertime when it's 110 degrees out, bring your kids here. And mind that this stuff's all free. You know, just it's just a public park. You got the playground area back there and i don't want to get you know i've got to be respectful of the parents with their children so i don't i'm kind of just going to gloss over the playground areas because there's kids over there playing um but we do have two playgrounds over here uh one for smaller children and the second one is for children that are just a little bit a little bit older and one of the cool things about this place is it has a zip line. So, and I'll show it to you here in a little bit, but the zip line, which is over there, it's really cool attraction. Um, and behind me here, off in the distance over there, is about a 50 foot tall climbing attraction. It's, it's so tight. I personally haven't been all the way to the top. My son has. But it gets pretty scary and you see kids up there all the time just, you know, just showing how fearless they are. And I love seeing it. Uh, the other thing is there's a, another climbing attraction next to it over here. Kind of like a worm thing. It's pretty long. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I'll get you some shots of that too. But you also have a lot of green space over here. Which is nice, you know, if you're going to come over and kick a soccer ball around and throw the football perfect place you got your green grassy areas um, there's actually a hotel just walking distance over here and they've expanded their hotel they're doing it right now they look like they're making they're doubling the size of it so it's kind of a touristy kind of attraction area over here specifically to this park so you will see scooters you know the little scooters that you pay to ride um, you see people riding those all around this park um, and another thing I didn't talk about yet is there's actually bodies of water here so people come here to fish and do all kinds of stuff like that so yeah let me get y'all some shots here so this as I'm getting a little closer to it this is that really tall climbing attraction um, thing I was just talking about a second ago so here check it out I'm back, actually about to climb this real quick because almost every time we come to this park, I always climb this with my kids. And there's this little, there's these little seats up there. And in the summertime when it's nice and toasty out at, in the evening, but it's still manageable, I'll go and sit in there and just kick my feet up and just relax, which is what I usually do. I mean, I do it in the winter time too, because the weather's, you know, pretty good here in the winter time so like today is today the high is supposed to be 70 which is like perfect weather right now i'm actually pretty hot in this sweater i'm probably about to take it off but i might put the camera down so i don't bust my butt trying to climb up to the seat so i'll be back in one second all right so this is what i'm talking about right here i usually come and chill out in this very spot right here every time we come to this park so you can see these are like little seats right here. Um, that one's wet. I think it rained yesterday. 
and the water hasn't dried up but there's these little seats all around this and I'm probably about I probably say I'm about 15 15 feet off the ground right now but usually this is me right here chilling back like this just relaxing usually have my foot up like that it's got a good view of uh, the whole park here from right here and it just goes up higher and higher all the way down it's definitely uh, when you come here on the weekend or even weekdays after school this whole thing is full of kids there'll probably be about 30 kids on here and it's just completely full from top to bottom and over there is that other thing I was talking about. You kind of see some kids over there playing on it. And it kind of just wraps around. I call it a little, you know, like a snake or a worm. Because it has a, a, not really necessarily a beginning and an end, but you can start on either side of it and you kind of can just walk through the ropes from one end all the way to the other. All right, so let's go over to the next spot, which is the bodies of water. So I'm gonna put the camera down so I can climb down safely. I'll be right back. All right, so this is where you will find people fishing. Uh, as you can see, oh, you might not be able to see it, but behind me there's actually a few guys fishing right now. I don't know if you can eat the fish out of the water here. Uh, I don't know if I would, let me just say it like that. I've asked people if, if they do, and they said they do eat them. Um, I'm always just a little nervous. Uh, not very adventurous when it comes to food like that, but I do love me some fresh fish. When you catch it out of a, you know out of a really big lake, very good. But here's the hotel that I was talking about, and one thing I haven't talked about yet is on the other side of this hotel, connected with the whole park here, is the Cubs, the Chicago Cubs spring training facility. So when that time of year comes, when you know spring training comes this whole area is packed it is a very hot area because of that you know we haven't been there to experience it yet so that's going to be pretty soon here in a few months whenever spring training starts but we've heard we've heard from residents that live over here that these streets get really busy and this, this whole park is just packed because of the Chicago Cubs when they come out here for spring training. And I did a video where I kind of gloss over the spring training area. Uh, I'm not going to do it on this one right now because I don't know if I feel like walking all the way to the other side of the hotel. Um, but I might do another video on that. Or I could just fly the drone over there and y'all can see it. But we'll see about that. But yeah, this is where, you know, people fish. And this this is why, you know, it's it's such a cool, cool spot out here in Arizona. Because when we came out here, all we thought of was desert. Like, you would think it's all desert. You're not going to see that much water. There's actually a lot of places like this out here in the valley that have water. And being from Denver... Although there's not a lot of water out there in the city, um, we did kind of miss it. We lived in Tucson for three years and 
there's not very many bodies of water out there in Tucson. But out here, you know, there's a lot more bodies of water. So, you know, that's why we like this area because we, we still get the, the water. It doesn't feel like you're in a place with no water. So, one of these days, I think I'm actually going to do some fishing because I, I actually enjoy fishing. I just haven't done it in a while. And I might actually, you know, if, if I catch a fish in here, I might actually eat it. And we'll have to see about that though. It depends on how depends on how I feel that day. So we got the ramadas right here. Do you want to reserve one of them? Scooters. Can't go wrong with the scooters. And this right here is the zip line. It looks like uh, it's actually kind of hard to tell now because the seat of it is broken the first time I've seen it like this so here's the part you would sit on there's a rope that comes down and it usually hangs down you know probably from here hangs down to about right here and there's a little circle thing you sit on and it just goes from over there to this side and then it's angled so it ends up going back over to the other side but they're usually good about fixing stuff here at this park so I'm confident that they'll probably have this fixed pretty soon so a little slide right there More random stuff to climb. This thing right here. Kind of like some Ninja Warrior stuff. So I'm gonna just kind of gloss over this, but this is one of the play areas. And the other one, other little thing I wanted to show y'all real quick pretty interesting I've done I got dared to do the loop, uh, loop on it once and it's pretty wild for an adult and kids do it all the time though and kids will spin, sit in it and just go whoop 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 and just keep spinning like I said I did it once I don't think I'll ever do it again, but I did do it once. It was kind of scary because once you go over one time and then the second time, if you don't have enough, enough speed, you'll go up and then you'll fall all the way down. Bust your butt. So, at least I can say I did it. So if you guys feel like doing that, come here and you're adventurous, go for it. Here's the, here's the other playground right here. Just pretty, pretty standard stuff. You know, little slides. Monkey bars. Yeah, I think that's gonna conclude my video of, of, uh, Mesa Riverview Park. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just throw them down in the comment section. Um, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and like to this video. That helps me out. But yeah, have a great day, y'all. Peace out.